Good afternoon, distributors. This is Justin here with Chicago Nevada Numatech. Hey, wanted to just give you a couple updates and reminder on how to set up your business portal access and settings correctly. So if you've received your login and password information to get to the business portal for either Chicago Nomadic or Numatech, um, this is what you need to do. So when you first get logged in and you got your passwords and, and uh, username and password going and you log in and you actually get to this portion of the business portal. What you need to do first thing is go over here to my settings, okay? And then we're gonna go look at my preferences. One of the biggest issues that we have with distributors is they just don't have it set up right. Chicago Nomadic's a global company, so we actually have access to all kinds of different factories and model numbers and things that are available across the, the world. So what we do is if we go into the settings and my preferences, we can actually edit that to where we only see what we want to see, which is Chicago Nomadic USA. So underneath my preferences, uh, off to the right here, you have these little tags. My English or language preference, of course, is going to be English. And then the next thing that I want to look at is this organizational node. Okay, I have various things in here. Um, being the regional sales manager, I want to make sure that I'm monitoring actually all of our product companies or our factories. For you distributors, click on this little tag here and it's going to come up. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is with under the organizational node, you want all business areas, which is going to pull in sales material, engineering data, and also service related items, okay? And then the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to click the customer centers, okay? You don't want all of these customer centers because well, we don't really need to have information on CP Australia, okay? So you're gonna skip those. You're gonna skip the EMA, EMEA customer center, right? None of those matter. We don't care about Europe. The only one that we really care about is NASA. Okay, so you're going to have the customer center for NASA and then USA. So you want to have this box checked and then also this USA box checked. The next couple things that you could add that I would recommend would be the product companies. The primary ones that the distributors really only need to have is would be the Antwerp and Brindola. Antwerp's where our larger rotary screws come from. Brindle's where our smaller rotary screws come from. The, the QRS's, the CPBG's. Uh, Baymanet is our piston factory. And then Houston is our Pneumatech factory for the desiccant dryers. So my recommendation for Chicago Nomadic distributors is only to have the Antwerp and Brindle one connected. But if you are a dual distributor and you had all four, that would be fine as well. After that, you come all the way down to the bottom and that's pretty much all you need to have done. The next thing or most important thing is actually to hit save after you've made your changes. And then hit save again. Oh, I'm sorry, I did forget about one thing. Uh, content status, you do wanna actually pick uh, and have selected the published, which is current products that are being manufactured and archived. So it will pull that information up for you as well. Um, dimensions, imperial versus metric or standard versus metric. I like to have both being that I'm the regional sales manager. Um, and I'd like to do the same thing with the frequency as, as well. Now, the more you filter, the less you will see, which can be good in both directions, right? If you're only interested in imperial and 60 hertz information, then by all means, leave those boxes checked and you'll be all right. I like to have both because I run into various things across the country that I need sometimes. So at the end of the day, that's what your preferences should look like for business portal. And that's going to make a big difference for you being able to navigate moving forward. Now, uh, just a little bit more of this tutorial since we're here. Within business portal, you have a task bar up here. So you have home, help, products, services, search this site, MyQuest and Service Connect. MyQuest and Service Connect will be on a completely different video because those are two different uh, tools that we use for various things. So I'm not gonna talk about these two, but I will talk about those in various videos. First thing that we're gonna cover here is products. 
products is primarily what you're really going to use. Now, whether you're on a desktop and or you're on a smartphone or a tablet, this will get you to the same location either way. So products down there or products down here, if you click on it, it's going to bring you up a selection of different icons. This is extremely handy for inside sales and outside sales when you're trying to find something. And no matter which one that you click on, it's going to be basically the same process of elimination. Piston compressors is not going to work for us because this really only covers our rotary screws and dryers at the moment, but we're working on adding more and more to it all the time. So I'm going to go to oil injected screws, for example, and it's going to pull up all of my current production items because that's what I have selected. So process of elimination, we have fixed speed or IV. R, which is the same as variable speed. So we're gonna go oil injected, fixed speed. We're gonna wait for the models to load up and this is what's currently in production. Now I do have a couple more things selected than most distributors, so I'm gonna see it in different areas. I'm gonna go down to the bottom here and pick the most current. So for example, here's our QRS 3 through 10M, 10 through 20 or 20 through 40. We'll click on the 20 through 40. Now, once you get here, it's extremely helpful the way this is actually laid out and it's very user friendly now, way more than it ever used to be. So within the area, you can actually use this toolbar here to select, right, or search, or you can even filter it a little bit more here. Right now it's just underneath all, but what it has everything for with this range, okay, commissioning videos, or sheet, dimensional drawings, 2D, 3D, 11 and 29 different dimensionals here. Now, I do have more because I have metric and imperial. So this is where that setting up your my settings correctly does make a difference and you won't see as much. Electrical diagram. And when you see these uh, diagrams that have the, looks like the infinity sign, but it's really not, it's our link to Showpad. These are the ones that are most current. So these are the ones that most likely we're gonna use. You can look at the manufacturing date over here as well. So 2019, that's gonna be the current model. So if you need an electrical diagram, here it is. Uh, engine information, flow diagram, general training, installation instructions, instruction book. Down here at the bottom, I'm not gonna read all of these. Sales leaflet, service bulletins, and more important, spare parts lists. Okay, so here's the most current ones. So CPM, that's a European model, CPVS, and QRS. So these are the ones that we would need for the current production. So as you can see, the way that this is laid out makes it extremely easy and and uh, quick for your inside or outside sales team, service team to get what they need on that individual products. These service bulletins are very handy as well. If you have that problem child, here's something to be able to check up on, you know, so new instrument block on these machines back in 16, vice versa, but. And then if you wanna get back and, and try again or you know, do a new search, you can just click on these or just go back to products these little buttons will get you back to the beginning and you can go through and pick various things. So for example, let's say I'm going to look for a controller. It's going to be underneath accessories. Okay. And then we're going to go to control and monitoring. And then look, you have all of our controllers that we've had and or we use within the equipment right now. So we're going to go to the Mark 5 S controller or Mark 5 controllers. And what we have here underneath the Mark V controllers is instruction book. So here's an instruction book for the new touch controller. Here's an instruction book for the new swipe controller, uh, a launch presentation, and then sales leaflet. Now, I am the regional sales manager, so some of my access is a little bit better than yours, but if it's not similar, we pretty much be, should be able to see the same thing. Uh, for example, here, the only thing that you might not be able to see as, a, as the distributor might be the launch presentation, but other than that, sales leaflet and instruction book, you should typically see no problem. I'm gonna go back to the beginning here, and we're just back to our, our selection. Refrigerated dryers, our cool range, 
our CPX. So I have other, I have a broader selection in my settings over here. So that's why I have these different models in here, but um, our CPX HT and our CPX 10 through 3000, pretty simple stuff. And that's pretty much the primary thing that you're going to use within the business portal. So if you need anything else, don't be afraid to reach out to us um, or uh, your regional sales manager. Thanks and have a great day.